Yeah, you know, you got to give Jaguar right her due. Obviously, I told you about Wendy Williams, but those two soul sisters had called it long ago about the industry and Puffy and all whole nine. There shouldn't be no vindication when you're stating facts. But the make-believe of the industry has got to go. You know, people ain't just living this life based on just their music and talent. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just sell you on that? But a lot of these artists end up being broke, don't have nothing, not even an ice tray in their fridge. The ice cubes is on rent. That's the coldness of the business. To see the hip-hop era sold a lifestyle that you got to go back to the golden days of Hollywood with the glam and the rented costumes and outfits when it's always been on rental and lease. There is nothing that stays that is yours. Jaguar Wright was telling you the truth. People call her Coco, Cuckoo, the Lulu and everything, just like Wendy Williams. It's funny how they do that. They say that. Two black women who came out in different intervals and in different ex, uh, situations in industry spoke out. They got called haters. They got called turncoats. They got called all kinds of names. They was telling the facts. There is no legit straightness with an industry that factors in selling your facade. When they push videos, music videos, when they push a lifestyle, the smoke and mirrors is real. It's not just based on your talent. First of all, you know it's a hustle anyway because artists walk around as the prey and they have to depend on what they can get and get bad deals. You know how they still be hating on Michael Jackson? And he owned half the uh, Sony. And he had the catalogs, bought the music, all that. And they used everything against him. Prince had slave on his face. I was like, funny how Prince had slave on his face 10 years after he won an Oscar, won every award you can almost imagine to in the industry. And he still came out like that. Think about how these things end up. They don't end well. Well, Tupac or Biggie died broke. You know. Uh, you look at different artists as how things ended up. You just kind of Whitney Houston, which is the saddest of them all to me. You know, and then, you know, all these artists, how things turn out. But there's things that you got to do. You know, if I can hear about the parties and the accesses and I'm not even within nowhere near it, what do you think is really going on there? This is the agenda. This is how the game goes. Everybody know, but who's going to really say something or say so about it because they got reputation and lifestyle, etc. So, you know, think about it. When they put no stars on a Hollywood Walk of Fame, what are they putting stars down there for? And what do you have to do when everything is so strange? You can't say nothing because everything is in code and how it go. But I just want to say Jaguar Wright was telling it one, told the facts about the artistry and things that go on. And it takes you back old school if you listen to uh, what she says. It really does. You know, I, I tell you, people like Jaguar Wright, Wendy Williams, and a shout out to Orlando Brown, even in code, you understand what's up. People that stalk Professor Griff, too. Because Griff was one of the ones that was telling it, you know, about the freak offs and the parties and so on and so forth back when. So telling you what's being put forth. And it's real, you know. Ben had said it. I wanted to give a shout out to Wendy Williams, Jaguar, Jaguar Wright, Wendy Williams, Professor Griff. Landa Brown, because they've been telling you about how that, amongst others, that were telling you how that industry gets down. It ain't what you think it is. And it's even more demonic and worse. They just get like the, what I call the dummies in the window. So when you go shopping, and you look at the windows, and you see the model dressed up, that someone behind them is pulling the strings. The ones behind the strings is way more sinister than what you see. It just looks pretty. And they're selling you a dream. However, when you don't go look and you can't see what's pulling the strings behind the nightmare and those ulterior motive games begin. So a shout out to Jaguar Wright, Wendy Williams, Professor Griff, Orlando Brown, and others who've been telling you that, that what you see ain't what you see. That's what Barry White used to say about the thing on TV. It ain't what you think it is.
He said that way back in the 70s. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you want to. Please hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay woke. Stay real. Stay full. Stay alert. I'm out. Peace.